Hey everybody, it's Night Shadow here. A couple years ago I decided that I'm going to try my hand at Airsoft, as well as paintball, but I thought I'd give it a try. I went out and bought this. It's my carbine from Pelco. And I gotta tell you, after playing with these guys, they had some pretty serious equipment. Um, this sucked. It <laughs> really did, it stunk. Uh, they pretty much left me alone and didn't bother with me for the, for the day I was there. Uh, what's the saying? Like bringing a knife to a gunfight? Yeah, well this was a knife and they had all the good guns and everything like that. So I pretty much thought airsoft stunk and not stunk, but not, it just wasn't for me. Until I saw this. Walked into Soldiers of Fortune Paintball and they had one of these. This is an AK-47. Not a real one, of course. The real ones were designed by a Soviet Union tank sergeant while he was wounded on the Eastern Battlefront in World War II. Uh, the guy's name who designed the AK-47, his name was Miguel Karishkinov, and he just wanted something better for the Russians that they already had. So the guy's name is Miguel. Why is it called an AK? Well, when the Russian army classified this this gun, uh, they classified it as, as an automatic Karashkinov. Patent 1947. So that's you get the AK from the automatic Kalashnikov and the 47 from. Sorry, my cat's playing with something down there. It's just kind of. Anyways, that's the real one. This one is made by G&G Armaments. I gotta tell you, this thing is so cool. It's heavy too. It's all metal and wood. Uh, real wood. I mean, no veneers, no nothing and it weighs in at a hefty eight pounds. It's so real looking, my wife doesn't even want this thing in the in the house. She saw it, she goes, get it out. But anyways, <laughs> so um, everything, I mean, right here, the selector switch, first off is in safe, which also acts as a dust, um, dust cover for inside the gun. Uh, first selection is automatic, Second selection is semi. When these were made, it was built as a fully automatic gun with semi being an option. That's why it goes in a, in a full auto first. Uh, the US carbines, they start off in, in semi and then go into full auto. They're more of a precision gun. This is more of a spray and pray, spray and <laughs> spray and pray gun. Um, the selector switch here, everything's in Russian. Uh, for full and semi, it's written in Russian. I mean, comes off. Of course, no BBs are falling out, but that's cool. The cat's gonna go play with those, give them something to do. Go on there. And it even has a charging handle that works. Doesn't do anything, it just, it's cool though. When you put the, put the magazine in there and go. <laughs> scared the crap out of somebody. Anyways, um, the rear sight here does have milling on it. Each number represents 100 meters, I believe it is. It's either 100 meters or 100 yards, I'm not exactly sure. I think it's 100 meters though. Uh, front sight, I mean, this thing is beautiful. It has a rail here, right there. And you can actually put a scope on the top of this thing, which is way cool. So we're gonna take it, we're gonna shoot it, and see what this thing can do. But before we do that, Take a look at this. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to flush them out. Steely eye, waiting for that one shot, you get that one kill. One, two, three, go! 
Cool, eh? These guys are serious about this sport. Okay, so we're gonna shoot this. I have the standard issue glasses. I don't know why they use, don't use more, but this is all they use. I think it's kind of crazy, but hey, you saw the video? It's all they wear. So I'm going to shoot that box behind me. I'm not gonna take this outside because of how real it looks. I don't want anybody calling the cops on me. And um, they will if they see this. I mean, this, this thing's crazy. All right, so we're gonna crank this thing up. One thing I didn't mention though, with Airsoft, once it's loaded, you have this little spring mechanism here that you have to wind up. That allows the Airsoft, the, the BBs to, to go up and into the gun and then get shot out. Uh, so we're gonna crank that up and then we're gonna start shooting.
<laughs> oh man, that was cool. That was so cool. Oh, this is fun. I like full auto. Have I ever mentioned that in any of my other videos? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. All right, guys. The G G Armament AK-47. Link's right there. Go to it. Of course, it's available at Swords of the Fortune Paintball. I think it is around uh, $800, $900, something like that. Don't quote me on the price. I'm not quite sure. It's so cool. I mean, look at all those shots. I still got the thing's half full. <laughs> that's cool. All right, guys, so that's it. I got to clean up these BBs, and then um, I have something to give away still. The SW1 giveaway coming up soon. A night shadow. That's it. Hey, guys, I hope you liked my first Airsoft review that I have ever done. Uh, I'm gonna do some more. I heard SOF PayPal, Swords of the Fortune PayPal. We'll be getting some more Airsoft in. So when they get it, if they give it to me, I'll bring it to you. And if you like that kind of stuff, let me know, comment down below. Let me know and I'll do more. Uh, I had a question on the uh, one of my videos. The question was, can you use the BTSA-17 with an ASA? You can. So like you know, it's got an ASA. I do have the the new pieces in there for the safety parts and all that stuff. It's kind of a pain in the ass to get it out now, but more on that later. So yes, you can use the ASA on this and it is usable, but you do need this. The uh, BTSA 17 rifle kit. More on that on the next show. Right now, we are giving away, or I am giving away, this. Thanks to Underground Products, they gave this to me to give away. I know guys, it's been a long, long time, but if you've been reading my updates, my bulletins, I've been a little busy right now, all that's done. So we're gonna get back on with business, start making more videos, um, and that's it. And I also have another YouTube channel, Night Shadow Productions, and we're gonna be making some commercials, and I'm not gonna get too much into that, but we're gonna be doing more than just, um, just reviews. All right, so the winner of this is, and I've just written it down on a piece of paper here, it is, uh, Chemo 8787, congratulations, you have won the SW1 from, by Vulcan. And because it's taken so long, I don't know if you live in Canada or not, but I'll leave, give you some G&G &G stickers with the Canadian flag on it. I might throw a Draxus lanyard in there. And some other stuff will be in the box perhaps when, uh, when you get it. So Chemo, you must get back to me within a week. If you don't, this will be... Uh, put away for a little while and it will come out again for another subscriber to win and that's it thanks guys for everybody for watching me and putting up with uh, the last three months of me not putting anything out I'm kind of pissed off myself about it but yeah that's how things go so I will be putting out more videos please subscribe because I love the subscribers I like seeing how many views I get but I like subscribers too so please subscribe I don't know where it is it's up there <laughs> All right, guys, so that's it. I'm Night Shadow, uh, Chemo8787. Please get back to me, because this is yours. If you don't get back to me, it's not yours. And Airsoft, there will be more. Everything I do is available at Soldiers of Fortune. Here's the all the information right here. Give them a call. Uh, owner's name is Vince. The other owner's name is Matt. They will be more than happy to help you guys. Uh, like I said, everything I get, everything I show you, you can get from there. So if you're in the Hamilton, Golden Horseshoe area, go. Tell them I sent you. Maybe they'll give you a deal. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it. I'm Night Shadow. Until next time, there will be more videos coming out soon. Uh, SA-17, I got a couple more things in the can still waiting to go. And um, that's it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time.
dark road at night are strolling through the park. And there will be a next time. <laughs> <laughs>